Hello, everyone, and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we will learn how to leverage Power BI AI tools, such as key influencers and questions and answers tool. So let's go ahead and shift to Power BI and then show you that in action. So if you go back to the visualization pane here on the right hand side, you will see that we have multiple visuals that are AI related or powered by artificial intelligence. So what you can see here, one of them is what we call it key influencers. So let me create some space for key influencers one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift this maybe a little bit to the left, this one to the left as well, this one to the left, maybe make it a little bit tighter like this. And the same deal as well for this one. And what I'm going to do next is as follows. I'm going to grab the Q and A tool. So what you can see here is I have the key influencers one. I also have the what we call it Q and A tool. I'm going to show you both of them. So let's start with the key influencers one first. So if you just click on it, basically what you could do here is that you can say the following. I would like to analyze the happiness score based on additional features, based on other features. And I would like to see what features could have an impact on the happiness score. So that's what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say analyze, add data fields to be analyzed here, and then explain by here I'm going to add the data that might explain the rise or the increase or decrease in the happiness score. So I'm going to grab the score. I'm going to put it here. That would be the feature to analyze. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab every other feature afterwards. So I'm going to do the following. I'm going to grab the GDP per capita. First, actually, let's go over the list here. Freedom to make life choices, maybe that's one of them. So I'm going to say explain by. GDP per capita might be one of them as well. So I'm going to grab that as well here, put it underneath. I'm going to also grab the generosity as well. That might be one of the factors. I might, I might also grab the healthy life expectancy. That might be a factor as well. Overall rank doesn't make sense, but here I can get the perception of corruption. And I can also add social support as well as one of the features too. Okay. All right, looks great. And here we go. So now what I could do here, and let me make it a little bit bigger. So what you could see right now is pretty interesting visual. Basically what you can see, and let me try to zoom in a little bit. It is telling you what influences score to increase. So here I'm interested in the increase of the score. It's going to tell you, well, when some of social support goes up by 0.3, the average score increases by 0.32. You can see as well, when the sum of GDP per capita goes up by 0.4, that will have an impact on the happiness score. The average of score increases by 0.31. When the sum of healthy life expectancy goes up by 0.24, you will find that the score increases by 0.3. Some, again, finally, when the sum of freedom to make life choices goes up by 0.14, you will find that that will impact the happiness by 0.21. What you could do as well is that you can go ahead and select decrease and then you can see what factors impact the decrease in the happiness score and you can see some additional features as well for example here social support has an impact on the happiness score as an example if you go back make it increase again here we go now you can see a nice positive correlation here between social support and the happiness score and of course as countries offer uh, more or better uh, social support they, they tend to be happier when they tend to have, for example, let's say welfare, when they tend to have, for example, um, higher GDP, so they are richer countries, when they have, for example, freedom to make life choices, when they have less corruption, all of these factors contribute to the happiness of a given country or region. What you could do as well is that you can select or click on top segments, and when you do that, you will find that basically right now, when the score more likely to be high, you will find that the um, artificial intelligence tool in Power BI was able to create two segments. We call it clusters. So we found two segments and ranked them by average of the score. So basically in the high category, so when the score was high, these are the good countries, I would say. I don't wanna say good or bad. I would, I, what I meant is basically these are the happier countries. 
So the happier countries have been classified to two classes or categories. One of them is here, segment one, and the other one is segment two. And if you click on it, you should find here the segment one tend to have higher happiness score or score in general of 7.34. And this is 1.93 units higher than the overall average of 5.41. So these are kind of the two clusters. And it's telling you as well, there are 12 data points. So 7.7% of the data, meaning that the 12 countries belong to this class or cluster of countries. If you click on the other cluster or segment two, they are still happy as well, but they are slightly less than the first cluster. So in segment two, the average score is 6.77. This is 1.37 units higher than the overall average of 5.41. And you can see that there are 11 countries belong to this class or category. If you click on low, that is going to show you again in the lower region when it comes to the happiness score, we have two classes or two clusters. This is segment one and this is segment two and it's telling you the average is 5.41. This cluster is 3.67. So it stands at 1.73 units lower than the overall average of 5.41. If you click on 4.19, you will see that this is another cluster, a little bit better compared to the other one, but still at 1.22 units lower compared to the average, which stands at 5.41. And uh, of course, if you go ahead and click on additional features, you can see the relationship kind of between healthy life expectancy and the average score as well. And that's simply the key influencers in a nutshell. You can of course go ahead, maybe include it here as part of the report, if you will. And what I would like to show you next is I would like to show you the Q&A feature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select Q&A and that is going to open a Q&A here and basically you can, instead of kind of interacting with the Power BI using, um, using the mouse, for example, and using kind of your own analysis, you can go ahead and ask specific question as an example. For instance, you can go ahead and say, what is the average GDP per capita? So you're asking that question and then it's going to answer to you right now because it'll tell you, well, 0.91. What is, what is the maximum GDP per capita as an example? And what is the max GDP per capita? It's going to tell you, well, it's 1.68. And you can confirm here with the country, which is Qatar. So you can simply go ahead and, and start asking questions. And then you can gain an infer a lot of insights about the entire data and about the entire report. And of course, all of that is powered by artificial intelligence. We don't, you don't need to write any specific code. All of that using these powerful tools in Power BI. And that's it. That's all I have for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next lesson.